Well, that was kind of hard to watch. I gotta admit that. Birds 11, San Francisco 49ers 17. Philadelphia Eagles 11, San Francisco 49ers 17. Can't say that I'm too happy. In fact, I'm hopping mad. But I'm not mad at the Eagles. I'm mad at something else. Uh, we'll, we'll get to why I'm pissed off uh, over the course of this video. But folks, uh, we lost to the 49ers, which, you know, okay, fuck, we lost. I'm a little disappointed, I'm a little upset. We lost, you know, 17 to 11. We lost by one possession. Let me... Let, let me let me analyze this game as best as I can. Let me be uh, I'm not gonna go nuts quite yet. Uh, it's it's freaking Monday as I'm recording this. Sunday was a lazy day for me. I just wanted to fucking it was hot, it was humid. I wanted to fucking lie down on my bed and veg out like a fucking lion under a goddamn baobab tree in the in the African savanna. So I did. But no, I you know, I just got off of my fucking job, and so now I can do this video. Now we can, and now I can be a little, I can be a little analytical, a little objective about this game. Now, I think that the main problem is we have some new blood in this organization. Now, I said that last week, and I'm going to say it this week. But why am I highlighting the fact that we have new blood, and that we have new people and, uh, you know, new men in this organization? When I said that last week after we won, and I was all, yeah, yeah, we got new guys. We added, we've got added vigor to the team, yeah. Because, folks, new people on an NFL team or any professional level sports team, folks, that's going to be a double-edged sword. It's going to be a double-edged sword because on the one hand, they're new. They add vigor to the team that wasn't there before. They give it the spark it needs to be a contender in the, in the fucking league. Uh, per, uh, hopefully a playoff, uh, hopefully in this case, a Super Bowl contender. Uh, but, Folks, what you also have to understand is they're new. They're new to the professional game. They haven't really played a down of professional football until this year, until this season, until this moment in time that we're witnessing right now. So I can't be angry at the way the players perform. Hey, I'm confident you did your best. You, you gave it all you could give it. And in this case, it wasn't quite enough. You, you lost 17 to 11. Okay, fuck. It stinks. But folks, offense. Let me, let me talk about the offense for a minute. We showed last week that we can win games. This is doable. We can do this. Why didn't we do it this week, folks? It's not just because the 49ers are a good team, and they are a good team. They're an excellent team. You know, they've got guys like, on their offense, they've got Jared Garoppolo. But on our offense, we have to contend. That is the 49ers defense we have to push through. Now, I appreciate the fact that we scored in the, in the first quarter. Uh, we got a field goal, but... There were several missed opportunities at the, in, in this game that I think we could have capitalized on. That 90, what was it, 90-yard 90 run or 90-yard pass, it was a 90-yard whatever. Uh, in any case, we managed to advance the ball like 90 yards. I think we should have gotten a touchdown off of that. that that's just one example. We have to work on, since we have new guys, they're not going to know everything and they're not going to know the little ins and outs and fucking semantics that make a professional football game. But we need to work on capitalizing on opportunities. This was a game of missed opportunities that cost us the game. 
that's what I, that's the one complaint I have about the offense. Now, the defense, I'm actually kind of impressed with. Hey, defense, I mentioned Jared Garoppolo earlier. That was Jared Garoppolo you had to stop. Garoppolo is a good, solid QB. He's a good, solid quarterback. That was Jared Garoppolo you had to stop. You only allowed two touchdowns and a field goal in this game from the Kansas City Chiefs offensive line. Now, that's actually a bit you know, kind of commendable, especially since I believe we've got some new guys on the defense. Now we turn. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the reason I'm actually pissed off. I read an article on the internet that basically that basically threw shit at Nick Sirianni, saying. Oh, Nick Sirianni's arrogance cost the team the game. Nick Sirianni's too arrogant. He's too, he's, oh, he's too arrogant. He's cocksure and this and that. Folks, listen. Leave Nick Sirianni alone, okay? I mean, could you leave that young man alone, please? Leave the man alone, okay? He's new, he is one of the people I'm talking about when I say we have new blood. He's a rookie. He's new. He has never been the head coach of a professional team in his life. Obviously, the Eagles organization, we think we've got, he's got what it takes because we made him the head fucking coach. And every head coach at one point was new. So all your, you know, so all you naysayers complaining about, oh, he's arrogant, he's this, and he's that. I don't want to hear it, man. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Let me tell you something else. You know, because let me tell you something. You got to give the guy a chance. You're mentioning his arrogance. I say, hey. You know how I go nuts and fucking ape shit when we win and I'm yelling and I'm screaming and I'm over the fucking moon. Hey, that is how you normally, in fact, that is how you are supposed to feel when your team wins. If you are an Eagles fan, as an example, because I also root for the Philadelphia Eagles, because so I get this. If you're an Eagles fan and the Eagles win and you are not happy that we won. There is something wrong with you, okay? There has got to be something mentally wrong with you in that brain of yours. Okay? Now, you might mention, now you might mention such things as the draft. Folks, fuck the draft. There, I said it. Fuck the draft. I don't play for that April draft shit. I play for the Super Bowl. I play for fucking February. Tanking? Tanking is for pussies, okay? You, if you if you think that we should tank for a better pick, you're a pussy, man. I'm not going to I'm not going to fucking sugarcoat it. All right? Leave Nick Sirianni alone. Now, was he a little was he a little cocksure? Maybe. But it wasn't his arrogance that cost the team the game. I'm sure that his confident that his overconfidence was a factor. But I don't think it was the factor. Remember, we got a new coach and some new players. You can't just blame the fucking coach for the fact that we lost. You cannot sit there and blame the coach for the fact that the new players are new. They're just getting started, you know. And, and you know what? That goes for also for, 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 for fucking Jalen Hurts. That also goes for Jalen Hurts, man. Now, he is, he's effectively a rookie. Because, I mean, I... I, I I don't think he's played a down of Eagles football until this year, but I, we picked him up in the 2020 draft. 2020 draft. He was around last year, but he didn't play. I don't think he played. If he did, please refresh my memory. But no, I, uh, last year it was all Wentz. 
and it was all Wentz, and pretty much that's it. It was all Wentz, and pretty much it was all Wentz, and pretty much that's it. So, but, but folks, folks, you gotta understand, it's not Jalen's fault, it's not Nick's fault. If I'm going to fucking assign blame, I am going to distribute it equally, if it even fucking exists, among the team. <clears throat> the new players need to practice more, the head coach and the, you know, the, the, they need more practice. To beat good teams like the 49ers. It's not like we lost to a fucking shit team. We lost to a good team. And we played good football, I think. Were there missed opportunities? Yes. Were there missed opportunities by the defense? Yes. Both sides of the ball, you had missed opportunities. But hey, some of these people are new. You got to learn to capitalize on opportunities like that if you want to beat good teams. And by a good team, I mean a team like the 49ers, a team like the Chiefs. Uh, now, the Chiefs lost to the Ravens, but they're, st they're still good. You know, like, like teams like the Buccaneers, the Chiefs, the, 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 the fucking Niners, okay? Now, folks... Let me explain. Let me talk a little more more about Coach Sirianni. Okay, look, I get it. Winning feels great. I fucking love when the Philadelphia Eagles win a ball game. I love that shit. And Nick Sirianni does too, obviously. And of course, winning makes you more confident. Victory increases your confidence but the trouble Sirianni had this game was he he kind of let it get to his head he's a new coach of course he's going to be really happy when he wins I think this week yes I agree with the article in that he let, you know, he let the, you know, he let his, his confidence drive him, get to his head. He became a little overconfident, sure. And he, you can't do that in the professional game. You can't do that in football. This, I believe, should be a lesson to Nick Sirianni that, hey, you can't let your, you know, you can't let your overconfidence drive your actions. Yes, be confident, then you can win. Be confident, but you can, you got to be confident without being overconfident. All right, Nick Sirianni, to my knowledge, is not arrogant. He's not an asshole. He's not a bad guy. He's just new to the job. At some point, we were all new to whatever jobs we have. I don't care if we're fucking football coaches, football players, fucking water boys. I don't care if we're fucking... Uh, I don't care if you're a goddamn, you know politician. You're going to be new to the job at some point. You're we were all new at some point. So for you to sit over there and put Doug and put fucking Nick Sirianni, a new coach on blast, b basically for being new and making a mistake. That's not fair. That's bullshit. Yeah, we lost the game, but we lost one game out of a 17-game season so far. We are two games into a 17-game season. This might be a one-off. You don't know that. This might be a lesson. He might learn. You don't know that. You don't have a goddamn crystal ball. You can't see the fucking future. So I don't want to hear your bitching. I don't want to hear your grumbling. Now, we got the fucking Cowboys next week. I can't stand the Cowboys. I spit on them. And I bet there are some mouthy fucking Cowboys fans fapping the fuck, twiddling the fuck out of their cocks, thinking, Oh, Philly's done. Sirianni sucks. The Eagles are washed. But, which is completely wrong, by the way. 
I don't have a crystal ball. I can't see the future. But I think Nick Sirianni's a smart guy, and I think he's learned from this. So for you to put him on blast is completely unfair. It's completely ridiculous. Leave the man alone, all right? Leave the man alone. You leave my goddamn head coach alone, all right? Believe it or because believe it or not, the plague likes an aggressive coach, all right? I love the fucking mentality that Nick Sirianni brings to this team. He calls it a dog mentality. And yeah, Nick, you're right. Dog mentality. The watchword is basically attack with this guy. And it's just great. Because where did that watchword get us last week? It got us 32 points to the Falcon 6. I applaud the, you know, attempted use of the dog mentality against the 49ers. Okay? I love that shit. But I think miss opportunities hampered us and cost us the game. It wasn't just the fact that you people seem to think that Nick Sirianni's an arrogant bastard. I'm not pissed at the Eagles. I'm not pissed at Nick Sirianni. It's you morons. I'm pissed at you people. Because we're not even two games in. We're only two games into a 17-game season. This league just expanded. The Shield just expanded. Expanded the season to 17 games and we're two games in. That's like, that's two out of 17. Less than a fucking eighth. Less than a fucking eighth. So you can hem and haw all day long about how you think Nick Sirianni's an arrogant guy and you think he's overconfident. Motherfucker, you're just jealous because you don't have a goddamn head coach. The, you know, in his rookie year at least, the fucking caliber of of Nick Sirianni. Now take me off the goddamn air before I lose my voice due to laryngitis. Take me off the air!